Back in the day, I used to always blame somebody else. I don't have this because I don't come from here. Instead of just saying, okay, these are the cards. I gotta deal with it. Let's figure this Ugh. Okay, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm gonna keep on showing up for you guys. Number one, I appreciate the ton of love and the comments and you guys hitting the like button and the subscribing off of the last video. I really appreciate it. So we're gonna keep it moving. It does not stop. We're only going to keep on growing this thing. So hopefully some of you guys out there have been setting that alarm clock a little bit earlier. Hopefully you're not hitting the snooze button. Let's continue to grow this thing. I'm gonna keep showing up. I'm still in it. I'm still in it. The wake up time is getting even earlier because it's never, 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 ever about settling. We do not get comfortable. Something that I learned when I started doing jujitsu, I've been doing jujitsu now close to, close to 11 years. I got my black belt back in December, last December, is you cannot get comfortable. It is a skill set that if you do not continue to train, practice, test yourself, you, the skill set will diminish. That is the same thing how I feel about the mindset. I have This is the same thing in regards to how I feel about just becoming, just optimizing yourself, becoming a better person. You got to work on it. You cannot settle and rest on what you did before, what you used to do. That's great. It's proof of concept. You have the receipts to show that you are capable. But now, let's set that bar higher. Why not? Nothing has ever, nothing good has ever come from comfort. Every time I made progress, every time I really made a big leap, whether it's life, you know, the gym, finances, whatever it may be, more times than not, it started with a setback. And instead of me playing victim and let me put my blanket on and start crying, I'm like, okay, well, let's figure something out. Let's figure out, okay, what's the lesson here? How do we make sure we don't do this again? And how do we move forward? It's the same thing. That's why the wake up time, you know, it's not just someone asked me, oh, do you just want to get to the gym on time? It has nothing to do with that. I'm going to make it to the gym. I'm not worrying about being the first person at the front. It's a tool. It's a, it's a tool that you can use to help optimize yourself. But I don't want to get too long winded. I'm already talking long enough. Let's get to this video. Guys, I see a lot of you have already been getting up early. You guys have been on that, that 4 a.m. wake up call. And some of you are just like, that's absolutely crazy, but you're interested. And I think that's the sign right there for all of you to say, okay, let me start setting the alarm a little bit earlier. Let me start getting up, right? Let's do it. Let's get back to it. There's nothing bad that comes from it, All right? Let's build this team up. Let's build this community up, All right? Let's start. Maybe you need to start at 4.30. You know, I challenge you to hop right into it. Let's get right to 4 a.m. But hey, maybe 4.30 might be, might be your, your entry. Maybe five o'clock might be the entry. But the point is, let's just get started. For a lot of you guys, Wondering like, kind of what's the goal. And I mentioned it in a few other videos, but real quick, you know, I do jujitsu. So a lot of my workouts, I try to help my performance when it comes to jujitsu. So making sure I'm strong, still have, um, not, still making sure I'm explosive and things like that. And of course, you know, you want to be aesthetic, but as far as like, ultimately, I'm trying to make sure I could help my performance when it comes to jujitsu, because that's very, very important. I've been doing jiu-jitsu now for over 11 years. But everybody's different, you know, so I know you guys are on your workout journey or getting started. Everybody's different. Everybody's workout plan is going to be different. I recommend different things for different people depending on where you are currently and where you're trying to get to. at the, the person and what I want to become and what I'm trying to get from this and what is the ultimate ultimate goal all right what's the bar that I'm trying to reach 
and that bar is so high and the goal is so big that something just to something about just getting up getting up at 4 30 3 30 is nothing in comparison to what I'm trying to reach and what I'm going to look like on the other side of that when I reach that who am I gonna am I gonna become what can I gain for it? what can I learn from it A place where I used to really lack in my life was accountability. Back in the day, I used to always blame somebody else. It's, I don't have this because I don't come from here, or my parents this, or I don't have parents. Instead of just saying, okay, these are the cards, I gotta deal with it, let's figure this shit out. And that's what I have to do. Hey, I'm Marty, how are you? And I had to figure it out. So I'm big on accountability in myself and in other people. I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. If you tell me you're gonna do it, I'm expecting you to do it. Period, no gray area. If you don't, if you don't tell me, you don't give me your word, you don't hold yourself to that standard, well then, whatever. But if you tell me, okay. So when you guys are telling me, you gotta set that alarm. I'm holding you guys accountable. Yeah, with a lot of pull downs, I feel if I try to just really go as heavy as possible, even if the, the form is, you know, somewhat strict, I don't really get the pump that I'm really looking for. I really don't feel the contraction. So I found that just going lighter just made a big difference. Still keeping the intensity high as always. Uh, just making sure the form is just strict. And I don't know if you guys ever heard of time over tension, just making sure, okay, we're gonna be in this set for a while. Ooh. 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 
I think if you cannot handle your own body weight, that is a major problem. Everyone, you gotta do your pull-ups, your push-ups. One thing I wanted to point out in this video too, before we get out of here, is the idea of time. And I know I always talk about time, and it's like, look, time is unforgiving, time doesn't wait. But also, wherever you are in your current situation, and wherever you're trying to be, there's no set time age on when it could happen, when you can start. And what I mean by that is, I didn't really see much change and you know, for example, like I'm big on traveling, starting to really travel until late 30s. Prior to that, I wasn't going anywhere. The idea of me traveling was Florida, right? Or, okay, the West Coast. But I didn't get my passport renewed until mid 30s. And prior to that, I didn't have a passport since I was maybe 10. Success and what, you know, we're deemed, what is deemed as success, none of that happened for me until late 30s and if I would have just thrown my hands up given up and said hey I'm too old and too this and too that my my window of opportunity closed my this closed my that closed you wouldn't have this channel wouldn't have existed you would have known you would not have known who I am none of this would be happening all of this started quote unquote late but in reality I think it's in retrospect, it's probably the best time that it happened for me because it gave me all the lessons, everything that I went through, it allowed me to learn about myself, learn about more about the world, and just get more preparation. And then when things started to roll out, I'm like, okay, I can handle it more. Some of the gifts that I got now, 10 years ago, I would have, I would have screwed it up because I've been tested like that before to where early tw 20s, early 30s, late 20s. No, I wasn't ready. So I want to say, guys, go, start, begin. Yes, do it, try. You don't know, take it from me. When my mother died, I thought it was like, how am I ever going to really, really get over this? And I mean, you never get over something like that, but I was at a place where I was in a very, very dark place. I'll leave it at that. But I didn't give up. Like just incremental steps. And that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Incremental steps. And I'm here. Because I've been receiving, like I said, emails, DMs from people. You guys tell me about your situation. I can relate because I've been, to, been through similar. I know it sounds cliche about you gotta control the mindset. But that is when things really started to make a difference or things started to become clearer where I was able to create a plan. You gotta have a plan. So I just wanna leave you guys with that. Your time, when do you wanna do it? Now, let's go.